The story of Jaro, now simply referred to as River City, is a sad one. What only months ago was a thriving town is now littered with destroyed cars, caved in buildings, and rampant fires. Though a military city, it's never seen combat in its history, and few people knew what to do after the first shells hit the airbase on the edge of town. Today, mechs can still be heard battling in the distance, and the dull thud of the explosions echoes for ages. There's a heavy cloud of ash in the air from the fires, and the city feels as if it's holding its breath, waiting to see which side proves victorious. Sitting here, preparing to board the repurposed Buffalo cargo carrier, you see the once majestic River City held ransom to war. The humanity of it all is staggering. The bridges, once offering breathtaking views of the beautiful river and surrounding architecture, are now hotly contested transfer points. Lances of battle mechs spark constantly, and the bridges change hands daily not out. It's been almost a month since any civilians have been seen, and it's clear, even from a distance, the sole occupants of this town are the mechs fighting for it. rises make perfect ambush points, and the clustered buildings below allow lances to flank around their enemies, with neither side having any distinct advantage. With kilometer-long sniping points in between the clustered buildings, venturing too close to shore is a death sentence for any unwary mech pilots. Tourism advisories dissuade any and everyone from visiting this river city. But it seems certain that these mech warriors have no intention of following that advice. <laughs> 